Ooh, ooh, strange gorilla. Hey guys and girls, we are back with our Barbarian Throwing Weapons Only Challenge Run. Today we're heading up Act 2, ultimately leading up to Dural and hopefully making it to Act 3. First things first, we need to head over to Atma, pick up our first quest, to head into the sewers and deal with Rodamant in his creepy lair. Doing so, gives us a Tomb of Skill, as well as the Herodric Scroll, which we will need in order to proceed with the rest of the quests in Act 2. Taking down Rodamant is fairly straightforward. He's surrounded by a bunch of his minions, ganging up on you like 12 year olds in a jungle gym. Once you've defeated them all, you can, you get, and you defeat Rudiment, you get a Book of Skill and the Erodric Scroll. Once you're done with him, you head on back to town, which begins Quest 2. The, the Quest 2 is to reassemble the Herodric Staff, which is the key to entering the lair. The staff has been broken up into several pieces and scattered throughout various locations in Act 2. We need to head over to the Dry Hills to get the Herodric Cube from the tomb. The Far Oasis to find the Maggot's Lair for the Staff and finally head into the Serpent's Valley to find the Amulet. Once we finally have all three pieces we can fuse them to using the Herodric Cube completing the key for Dural's Lair. I thought maybe I should throw in a random fact here and there during these videos. Fun fact for this one is... Did you know? Cooper divers fall into the water backwards. As if they fell forward, they would just fall into the boat. <laughs> I shall just leave that there. In the maggot lair. Once you find the corner with the chest, deal with the big bug and its minions. I'm assuming it's supposed to be some sort of guardian bug that or queen uh, is created to protect the chest. However, it's very immobile and all it can do is spit uh, poison. But do be careful though, this poison can eat away at your HP unexpectedly and you dead before you know it. Once you're over there, grab the staff. Uh, in my case, just throw it back on the floor. <laughs> Oopsie. Make some space quick. Grab the staff. Proceed on back to town. Once you're done in town, make your way to the Claw Viper Temple so that you can reach the Serpent Valley. On your way there, you will cross through the Lost City. Lost sit Once you hit the Lost City, it will a quest which will turn everything into night. This turns out to be caused by the serpents in the serpent temple which luckily we are on our way to to grab the amulet in any case. Once you reach the claw viper temple you gotta pop on in, make your way through the first level into the second level. Once you're in the second level the amulet is located right there in the center, however there's a little bit of a mob waiting for you. Mob. Usually getting through the temple is nothing, but today, with the luck of all things, it seems I decided to have two heart attacks today, almost died twice in a row, <laughs> when I could finally grab the temp amulet and break the curse for forever night. At the end of the quest chain now we have completed the staff which allows us to proceed to the palace to get to the arcane sanctuary. Once you're in the arcane sanctuary the idea is to locate the summoner who is guarding the tomb we or tome sorry uh, which indicates the correct temple that we are meant to wander into. With the Talrasha tombs, there are several decoy tombs guarding Duril, as well as the correct tomb, which is indicated by the symbol in your quest log. Each tomb has a symbol, like a triangle or a circle or a square, etc. And by defeating the summoner and reading the tomb, your quest log will show you which tomb is the correct one. Once you're in the Canyon of the Magi, head into Talrasha's tomb. Once you're in the tomb, you're looking for the Orphus that you can place the staff and break the seal. Once you break the seal, good luck and get ready for Duriel. Duriel is an extremely tough fight. He is fast, strong, hits like a truck, does knockback, does bashing, and has a frost aura. 
The Frost Aura has quite a large range and it makes you extremely slow. You, even with cold resistance, you are not out of the woods as he can easily kill you with physical hits as he hits really fast as well. All in all, he is a bug on a mission. Fortunately for me, Daryl decided to not kill my mercenary today. Or my mercenary just decided he's going to show me how it's done. But thanks to my mercenary tanking Daryl all the way through, I managed to kill Daryl without a hitch, letting us get to Act 3. Once you're done with Daryl, head on back to the tomb. In the back of the tomb, apologies. Speak to Daryl, who advises you to destroy the ultimate evil, as they have escaped. Head on back to town, speak to everyone if you like, or just speak to Jaren, who will tell you to go speak to Warof. Once you've spoken to Warof, this allows you to sail east, which then allows you to head on over to Act 3. I really hope you enjoyed the episode of today's video. Episode of today's video. Interesting way of putting it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And it is a little shorter than all my others so far. However, nonetheless, hope you enjoyed the run. And I will see you in Act 3.